Hello, I'm Byron Hines. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at some of the logical architecture and the components that make up OpenStack and how they interact with each other. So the first one that we're going to deal with is the dashboard. And the dashboard is the web front end to all of the other OpenStack services. As a user or an administrative user of OpenStack, you are going to use dashboard most of the time to do the things that you need to do to set up instances, to configure networking, to change authentication, all that kind of thing. Now, there are other ways that can be done. It can be accessed through a command line, through terminals, through the API. But most of the time, I think most people are using dashboard to do their basic administrative tasks. Compute is a very important module as far as the architecture goes. Compute actually takes care of, well, computations, of actually running stuff, of taking the VMs and making them run. So it's based on instances, which are in turn based on images in the image service, but it's what makes it work. The network component provides communication to the compute component. So we have our VMs running in compute, but they need to talk to each other or they need to talk to the rest of the world to do anything useful. So the networking component takes care of that. There are two types of storage components in OpenStack, block storage and object storage. Block storage works directly with compute to provide storage volumes for the use of the VMs that are being executed in compute. Object storage stores the images for the image service. Now, there are other others that can be used, but most of the time it's object storage that provides the repository for images. Now, the image service does not store the images itself. The image service uses the object storage or potentially another provider, but most of the time it's the object storage, to store virtual disk files, which are the images that in turn become instances that in turn are used by compute or run by compute. So in order to access those images, though, compute has to go through the image service. Compute cannot just go out and talk to object storage. It Images are managed by the image service and provided by the image service to compute as needed. The last component that we're going to talk about here is the identity component. And identity takes care of authentication services for all of the other services and components. So it's quite important because it determines who can do what within the OpenStack infrastructure that you have set up. So OpenStack is a stack. That's why it's got the word stack in its name. And all of these components operate together to provide that infrastructure as a service on which you can build your virtual environments.